Hello everybody, welcome back. I wanted to do another Bellatro guide. Uh, I had a great suggestion on my last video, which by the way, if you haven't seen it, I made a quick like seven minute video, just a, a short consistency guide for starting off runs. If you're interested in that, go check it out. It should be my most recent video before this one. But today I, I did want to make another guide specifically just giving my, my detailed thought process on what I'm thinking, why I'm making the decisions that I am going up to around anti two or three, just so people can kind of get an understanding of what it's like to to go through that process from someone who has played probably way too much of this game at this point. Um, shout out to that one commenter who gave me this idea. I think it's a really good idea. Uh, they also mentioned that they were using like the basic decks, so that's what I'm going to be doing for this one. I'm just going to be using the red deck, uh, and for the sake of the video, I am just going to be doing on white stake because I don't want to get things too complicated here. Just sort of uh, give my thoughts on what I'm what I'm doing and why I'm doing them. Uh, but yeah, so let's get started without any further ado. Uh, if you did watch my last video, you'll know that this pit uh, particular screen right here, I consider to be the most important screen to any run. There's just a lot of really important things to be taking note here, including the first boss blind and the two tags. With the basic decks, you're not going to have any variance in your actual deck here. So there really isn't too much to analyze here. Just kind of looking at these. I mean, this is fine. You can just go straight into this. Just start doing the, uh, you know, the blinds, no problem. I kind of just want to get one tag. and I want to get one good tag, I think. Um, by the way, if you want to reset, you can just hold R. Uh, <laughs> I did not know that. So that is a very useful, useful thing. Another commenter shared that piece of information with me uh, look at this though share uh shop has a rare joker this is cool i i would like to see what this is so I'll, we're gonna run with this skip that and go right into big blind here uh i see we could do a straight i'm seeing two nines here maybe for a full house and uh, suits we have four diamonds i might as well just go for that just, it's only 450 it's not too bad you just need two good hands really so we're gonna go for a flush here See what we get for our next hand. Two sixes already, I see that. Two jacks. Two pair won't quite get us there. Let's just see if we can get a full house. Not quite. We still have a bunch of hands left, so just keep trying, I guess. And here we go, full house. Not too bad. Can be a little risky to go for full houses. Sometimes it just won't work out for you. Um, but it's the early game, so you kind of can just play that risk, see what's happening. And our rare Joker is the Ancient Joker, which is, uh, if you've never used it before, each suit that it, it says, in this case, heart, uh, well, every single time it's played, you get 1.5 multiplier, um, and that suit changes at the end of the round. It's okay. It's okay. I don't think it's a great card. I honestly don't know if I want to spend the $10 on the Ancient Joker. I kind of want to see what's in this buffoon pack. But if you don't really have too much else going on, this is a fine card. I don't know. Oh, this is kind of tough. This is a <laughs> this is a tough way to start the game. Another thing to note, by the way, because I just did the uh, the big the big blind here, and the next one coming up is uh, the spade card debuff. I won't have another chance to get this overstock until at least a couple more antis, even if if it shows up again, which it might not. Um, so if you have a, a voucher here that you kind of really want and you're on your big blind like you just defeated the big blinds You should probably focus on the voucher instead of your cards just because you will not be running into this again But in this case overstock is it's good But it's too early for me to really determine if I need this or not I kind of want to run my luck on the uh, the buffoon pack and then even if there's not something I want, I could maybe sell a Joker here to get the $2 needed for the Ancient Joker. So let's see what the Buffoon Pack has. The Family, four of a kind deck, or a Square Joker for the four. So both of these would actually synergize well together if you had both of them. I do like the Square Joker. I think it's a good card. It allows you to run um, four of a kind decks, two pair decks, or even just three of a kind with one added card on there. At the end it'll still proc the uh, square joker effect it's hard to go against the family it really is but i won't have any actually useful joker for the first boss blind 
And because I want to try to make this a run that gets me to the next couple antis, I think I'm going to have to take Square Joker here and just rock a two pair deck to start. In that case, the juggler wouldn't be that bad. This is actually a pretty good card, especially if you're doing flush decks, because uh, your hand size is extremely important for uh, decks that use five cards uh, for their activation. But because I'm going to be rocking a two pair, I don't think I need that. And I'd rather have the $6 in hand now, so I get the added $1 after I beat the boss blind in investment. So I think I'm just going to rock this, go for a two pair strategy to start. And nothing quite here. I do have two sevens. Even though this is debuffed, you can still use it for your two pairs. So I'm going to keep the face cards just because they're worth more. Um, and look at that. We got a two pair right here. Even though it has the debuffs, this will kind of make up for it. 114, not bad. Ace, king, queen. We're just missing a jack. I did just use two of my jacks, though, for the straight. So I don't know if I really want to go into that. How many? I have mostly heart cards still in the deck. How many club cards do I have? Eight, not a lot. I have more diamond cards, yeah. So I have more chance to get diamond cards here than club for the flush. And I kind of feel like a flush is just an easy thing to go for. I do have a three of a kind here. And so if you were to do something like this, a three of a kind with one added card, you would still proc the square joker. Which wouldn't be a bad play. I do kind of want to see. So it would be a times three multiplier with the square joker. I think this is worth it. I don't really see myself getting another two pair. Like two more two pairs to, to beat the, uh, the boss blind. So I'm just going to rock with this. And now we just need one good hand. And I do have two queens. Two discards to work with. I still have a bunch of hearts in my deck. No. I don't. I just used a bunch of them on the uh, the three of a kind, I guess. Hmm. This is a little trickier than I want it to be. I'm just going to discard these four for now and see what shows up. Another three of a kind queen. Interesting. I, uh... Let me see what I have here. I have still a bunch of fours, aces, and kings. So I have a pretty good chance of getting into an ace or a king. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna roll with it because even if I don't get anything here, I still can't three of a kind. And there we go. So we have our full house with this. Even though it's not gonna proc the card, this will put us over the 600 mark. And there you go. So that's kind of everything that I'd be thinking about for a boss blind, especially an early game boss blind. Maybe it's just not something you've heard about before. You were thinking about. But that was a little tougher than I'd wanted it to be, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but right, let's get into Anti-2 here. This telescope pack is incredible. I think this is one of the best vouchers that you can buy, especially if you're going for a particular uh, hand. In my case, I kind of want to go for two pairs and four of a kinds. I think two pair is more feasible. So definitely want to consider getting this. Let me see if I can... Looks like my other tags for this... Oh, wait, no. These were just the last ones I did. I forgot. You can't check what your current blinds are until you get past the uh, the shop screen here. I'm going to hold off on this. I definitely want this. But I'm going to hold off on this and just see what's in this buffoon pack. We have a flush joker and a straight joker. I think flush is a really good backup to have. Especially when you have um, like an even amount of each suit. It's just something to fall back on if your current plan isn't working out. Uh, so I'll go with the, the Droll Joker. And because I won't be getting the interest for $10, I'm okay with spending the $4 here for the Celestial Pack. And look at that. I get my two pair here. That's pretty lucky. So, so far, not too bad. I definitely want to get this, though. So I'm going to be saving up my money for that. And it looks like we still get a Rare Joker and a Reroll Tag. I don't really know if I want to go for this Rare Tag here. I kind of just want to focus on saving up my money, getting interest, and doing two pairs. We have two kings, which is good, and three hearts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play risky here and just get rid of all of these except for the face cards. And look at that, we get paid off. We get lucky here. We get our two pair, the upgrade, 324, not bad, and we have two sixes. Wow, this is just so lucky. <laughs> I'm getting blessed blessed by the card gods 
And we have a four of a kind. Wow. I just, I can't believe how lucky this was. Normally it's not this easy. But just like that. We get a bunch of upgrades for our square joker. Still have a hand left over here. Another interest. Get our five bucks. Spectral pack is tempting. I'm not going to lie. I do like me a good spectral pack. But I do also really want to save up my money. I don't need a normal joker or popcorn. Those are pretty situational. I'd rather just save my money and get past this blind here. So we're going to go again. Two, ja two jacks, a bunch of hearts. I do, I can go for flushes if I don't bother with upgrading the square joker. So I might just do that just to get past this round with as few hands as possible. So I can maximize my money. And just like that, one hand gets it through with our upgraded chips and the 10 molt from the Joel Joker. And that's a good amount of money. Space Joker. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to first of all get this telescope uh, voucher and Space Joker. Space Joker, in case you don't know, one in four chance of upgrading the level of your played poker hand. So with this and the combination of my telescope voucher, I should have no problem upgrading my hands for the rest of the run. This is probably going to activate once every ante, maybe, if you're lucky, once every ante. Sometimes you can get pretty unlucky with these. But in combination, I shouldn't have to worry about the levels of my hands anymore. And I can instead now focus on using tarot cards to maximize my uh, my plays here, as well as spending money on like standard packs and stuff. And even though this won't be helping me get to this boss blind, it's not giving me any added score and stuff. I think, I, I mean, I one shot a 1200. I'm pretty sure I can do a 1600 just with these cards. Uh, so the first hand is always drawn face down. This boss blind, it's one of those things you can't really plan around. And the best you can do is pick one side, like here. I know that in the order of suit ranking, it goes like spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds. So I know these two have the biggest chances of being either spade or heart. It's not like it matters because I I have equal everything, but you know, it's just something to keep in mind if you are doing a flush deck and you get this, just knowing where your, your cards will be in your starting hand if you rank them by suit. Something to think about, you could optimize your chances here. I'm actually gonna play hand. You don't have to do this. In fact, I, I don't recommend doing it, but I'm gonna play hand with four cards to get a free upgrade, just to get something out of this hand. And yeah, well, when we level up our high card, why not? Lucky activation there. So we have a pair here, which is great, but I don't really know what these cards are. And honestly, I don't feel like working around it. So I'm just going to discard them and just see what we get. Two queens, two eights. We'll rock with that. See if we get our lucky level up. We just got one though, so I'm not banking on it. Not quite. And then three of a kind here. I'm thinking I might want to save up just to go for a, a flush here on something. I have two of everything though, so that's kind of annoying. I think for now I'm just going to rock with a three of a kind and a five. Because I don't... Yeah, I already used... I already got rid of a couple fives. So I'm not going to be really needing that again. Yeah, we'll rock with this, get our upgrade. Now I really want to focus on getting a suit. Just to make sure our last hand here is good. So I have three club, three spades, and I have more spades in my deck. So I'm just going to focus on getting my spades. So what do I have here? I do have another two pair, but I don't think that's going to put me over the edge. I need a full house. And I think it's easier to go for the flush here. Yeah. So just like that, this should be enough to put us over. And we get a flush level up. Thank you, Space Joker. But yeah, as you can see, even if we just went for that flush and nothing else, we would have had enough to beat the blind. But I did want to upgrade my Square Joker make this as useful as possible, and this is just our backup to beat the blind when we need it. Alright, so this is probably going to be the last anti I play for this video, just to see... I really need some jokers now at this point to give me some... some molt and just work around my... my deck here. I do have mostly two pairs played, so if I were to get a Celestial pack here, it would be guaranteed two pair, which might not be a bad idea especially considering i'm not really too interested in in mad joker here it's a little too inconsistent when you don't have a lot of arcana cards so i'm just gonna get my two pair 
Still have my $5 for the investment. And Mega Buffoon Pack. Ooh. This is a make or break skip. If I don't get anything useful here, there's no way I, I'm getting this easily. So this is one of those, like, this is a tough decision. I think it's, it's kind of worth it. Just because two pairs are really easy to make work combination. And I really need some jokers and I don't have a lot of money. But this is risky, I'm not going to lie. And all face cards being drawn face down is totally fine. This does not really affect me too much at all. So because I don't have a lot to worry about here, I think I'm going to skip and get a Mega Buffoon pack. It's risky, but... 8 ball. 8 ball could work. Pair. There we go. Okay. Jolly Joker. So now this works with if you just do a normal pair, but any hand that has a pair of cards in them, like a full house, a four of a kind, a two pair, this will still give you your eight molt. So this is a good pickup for some added, some added score. And then eight ball, it synergizes with two pair. Because if you play, you get planet cards. I'm not too worried about planet cards though, because we have Space Joker and Telescope. This, you could pick this. Hanging Chad is, is okay for like high card decks and um, and stuff that would use like scoring while your hand is being played, but I'd rather just go for Scholar. Gives me something to work towards if I pull a couple aces. You could have picked a bunch there. I don't think it would have mattered too much. I'm not going to reroll the boss blind because I, I like that boss blind actually, so I'm not too, too worried about it. I have it straight, but I also have two nines and I don't really want to get up my two nines here. So I'm, I'm actually going to forego the straight. And yeah, let's just, let's rock with this. I do have my aces, which if I save for my scholar here will be good. So I think I'm going to go for an ace and nine two pair. And there we go. We got it. Luckily we got that. That was not guaranteed. But this should be enough to get us pretty close. Yeah, not too far. And we already have, we can just do a four of a kind here. Or a three of a kind, excuse me, with the fourth card to upgrade the square joker. And this should be enough. And of course, our Space Joker procs on everything but the two pair. <laughs> so, gotta love that. But alright, we're approaching the, uh, the final boss blind here. I'm just thinking, I could buy this and just hold on to it for a backup flush play if I need it for the boss blind, which I might do. But let me, I'm, I really want to pick this special pack, man. These could be so useless, but also just like absolute run savers. So I'm I'm gonna bet it all on my spectral pack. Okay, converting all cards to a single suit will help with Droll Joker, so mine as well. And we get spades. Okay, so now we have just a whole bunch of spades. That's what we're gonna be looking out for when we're doing flushes. But I'm not too concerned with that. It's kind of just our backup strat. Now I know though I don't want to pick up this heart card, so it's a good thing I did not buy it first. If you are thinking about buying and holding on to an Arcana card, I like to recommend just going through the packs first, see how these alter your deck, and then decide if this is a good thing to buy. So it's a good thing I waited there, otherwise that would have been $3 down the drain. Um, and I don't really need Shoot the Moon, especially, I mean, you, it actually kind of works with the boss blind, considering I know face cards will be, uh, you know, not something I'll be using, because I just don't know what they are, but also I won't know if it's a queen or not, so I, I'm i not too stressed about this. I'm just going to go into the, the final boss blind here. And we have an ace, and then two random ace cards, which I'm just going to get rid of. I just don't want to have to deal with that. Hold on to my ace, though. And we have two twos here. And enough for... We do have enough for a flush. And it's a heart flush as well. So this will be really good for our spades. It is going to be using our ace and our two though. But with the combination of Scholar and Droll Joker, and I believe our flush is level two, it is. I think this is a fine play. I'm actually, oh, I don't even have to get rid of the two. I, I didn't even read this correctly. So yeah, this is fine. Because I'll still have my two for two pair and I can do a flush. So yeah, this is fine. Yeah, and we're already halfway there. I'm gonna go back to rank. Two twos, two eights. Just go right into this. Not even think about it. And we get our Space Joker level up. I've been getting pretty good with those. And we're just, I mean, we're there. And we still get another two pair. Very lucky. Two pair decks are super consistent. If you're worried about not getting the hands you need, I recommend going for two pair. You get Jolly Joker, Square Joker. They're pretty common. 
you know, you can make it work. Uh, so I'm going to do this to upgrade our square joker, and this should put us over the edge. Just like that. Not too bad. We're not in a good money situation. We're a little poor right now. I didn't get any good money jokers. But look at that. An abstract joker. This is pretty good with foil on it. I could probably get rid of Scholar. Yeah, I could do that. So yeah. There you go. There you have it. That's my my in-depth guide for starting a run using basic decks. Uh, hopefully you got some use out of that. I was My goal was to just sort of explain my decisions, why I was doing the things I was doing, to hopefully maybe shed some light. Maybe you were not paying attention to a certain thing. You know, maybe there was just something you were overlooking. But this is how I would approach a run. If you want to ask where I would go from here, by far the main thing I want to be focusing on right now is using Arcana packs and Standard packs to optimize my deck for two pair. And the way I would do that would I would probably pick two cards, two useful cards. Since we just had um, a boss blind that was bad against face cards, I would be okay with picking one of these face cards for one of my two cards but if you hadn't had a boss blind that debuffed face cards yet i would probably stay away from them just because you could if you go for like a queen and a king two pair and you get a boss blind that debuffs all face cards then you're just screwed right so i like to pick one non-face card and a face card or just two non-face cards is generally safer uh, aces are probably the best ones to go into if you can there's no boss blind that debuffs aces and they're worth the most amount of chips at the get-go so definitely recommend that and then eight with eight ball 10 8 5 4 and like two i think they're good with the fibonacci card maybe three as well i don't remember so like these low ones are good to pick there's a lot of good jokers for them 10 8 ace any of those would be good but yeah, from here on out, I will be working on optimizing my deck to make it as consistent as possible with four of a kind and two pair. But yeah, that's my guide. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I will hopefully be sticking with this. Thank you guys for the support on the last video. I was not expecting that at all, so I definitely appreciate it. But yeah, I'll be seeing you all in the next one. So take care and bye bye